A huge question that all waterfowl hunters face is if and when the birds are going to migrate. Now there's lots of theories out there and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's the unknown of waterfowl hunting. In this tip video we're going to talk about three key points during the season where the odds are going to be in your favor that ducks are going to migrate. I've lived on or near Lake Erie for a good majority of my life and what we've always looked for is the calendar birds. Those birds that come almost like clockwork year after year. I was always told from the old timers that it has to do with that full moon that is near the end of October. Whether it's just inside November, near the end of October, something like that, there's that full moon right there and that's what they look for, is for that to bring in the, the staples on the lake, your, your bluebills, your redheads, your canvas back. It seems like that is the time, no matter what the weather's doing year after year, that week or two span near the end of October is when those birds are gonna show up, no matter if it's 60 degrees or 20 degrees outside, they're coming. It doesn't hold true just for Lake Erie, but across the country. Uh, for instance, our guys that live down in Missouri, if you could look back at year after year, that first week of November, the first cold front first week of November, they've got one of their best hunts on the Missouri River that they have all year, no matter what. It comes every year, first week of November, within a day or two. If you don't keep records, you should, because time is gonna tell you what those ducks are gonna do year after year. You're gonna to start to see patterns form as to when those ducks are gonna come in year after year in the same areas. Hunting Northern Illinois and much of the Midwest, I've noticed the largest push of birds usually comes during the freeze. When a lot of these smaller potholes are freezing up and the birds are getting concentrated on big bo bigger bodies of water or on the river, that usually is when those birds are you know, starting to push south, trying to find where the water isn't freezing up. And that's usually when you're gonna have your best luck hunting birds in the field. These birds gotta eat you know, to have enough energy to fly south um, and to bulk up for winter and to survive. When the weather gets cold and the freeze line hits, this is my favorite time of year to hunt. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. One of my favorite parts of the migration to hunt is as the snow line reaches further and further south. You know, one of my favorite days to hunt is after a major snowstorm that's 30 miles just north of me and it's got them birds on the move. That next morning I'm going to go out anticipating high groups headed south. Major snow events will cause the birds to migrate a lot of the time because it covers up a lot of their food sources, especially if they've been feeding in fields. You know, when you've got, you know, six, 12 inches of snow packed on the ground, it, it makes it pretty hard for them to eat. And with these cold days ahead, the ducks have to have plenty of energy and stored fat to survive. So naturally they have to, to get up and head south to find the, uh, the nutrients and energy that they need to, to make it down. In years like this year where everybody's waiting on that big cold front to push ducks out of Canada, your calendar birds are going to be very important to be able to pinpoint, and that all comes from keeping good records. You're able to look at a forecast to determine when those ice line birds are going to jump, when those snow line birds are going to jump, but your calendar birds in years like this year where the weather's been really stagnant are important, and that's where you can save a season. Be sure to stay tuned to next week's all-new episode of The X where we're hunting calendar birds in the Midwest.